Amanda Sue Bradley, you're under arrest for murder and kidnapping. Sue Bradley. Age. Merry Christmas, Mama. You are going to have to make your own breakfast this morning because your stepdaddy woke up drinking beer again. Oh, Watch out for yourself today. I got to go. And thanks for mine sweets. Yeah, sure. So merry this morning. Don't take that, please. I got your mama to tell me what to do around here. What are you doing with the Christmas stocking for anyway? You're 14! Not until next month, I'm not. Uh, you're looking more like a woman every day. I bet them boys are noticing you. No, they're not. Just go now. I got a dress. Go on. Stopping you. Stop it. I'm your daddy. Huh? I love you just as much as any daddy would. Huh? I see those boys noticing you. Treating you like a woman. Don't, don't, not again. Me. Each Christmas, we come together to celebrate the miracle of Jesus' birth. In doing so today, let us also consider the miracle of our own births. Each and every one of us a work of art, created in God's image. And that is a miracle we must never take for granted. 
with us today, this most joyful time of the year. In honor in the Heavenly Father, let us also honor ourselves and our loved ones, especially those who gave us birth. God in his wisdom said, honor thy father. do anything to you that you don't want him to do. I didn't want him to. You stop that lying. Damn girl, I haven't been married even a year. Men don't stray that soon unless they got a good reason. How long has this been going on? A few months. I'm only telling you because I don't want him to do it to me no more. Don't have to. If you didn't like it, then why didn't you come to me sooner? Because I knew you wanted him to stay here. Don't do me any favors. I know how to hold a man. Will you please just make him go? Oh, yeah, he's going all right. And I'm going with him. Because you better believe, Harvey and me, we got big plans. And you better put the brakes on right quick, girl. Or you're out of the picture. I've done my job with you. You know? Now it's my turn. I'm in, I'm in trouble. What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. It can't be that bad. I'll help. How? Hell, I want to marry you, Mandy. You do? Well, yeah. My mama wants me to join the Army. But I'll be 18 next month. I can marry, and she can't say nothing. Let's get married and we can have each other all the time. <laughs> Does that mean you love me? Of course I love you. Really? I want you to be my wife. Don't you want to? Can we get our own place? Of course, silly. They got me full time at the garage now. You won't have to go to high school. I won't? Married people don't have to go to school. Oh, my God. <laughs> really get married? This dinner? It's cupcakes. Well, they're healthy. I put lots of nuts on them. <laughs> Damn! We haven't had heat for two months, Mandy. I thought you were gonna buy us some more blankets. You didn't leave me no money. Well, if you get a job. I know, I'm trying. I put my name in at the supermarket. 
Where are you going? To the fridge, if I can get there without freezing to death. Hell, I ought to join the army. At least I'd get a decent meal. I'm Andy. Where's my mama? Didn't they tell you? Well, they lit out of here a couple weeks ago, up north to Indiana. Harvey got a job. Oh, hell. Are you all right? Me and Brian had a fight. You need a place to stay? You can stay with me. No, thanks. months is the most miserable I've ever been in my life. I just don't want you no more. We can't be no worse off apart than we've been together. At least I'll have a chance in the army. You go on home to your mama. I'm Buddy Thornton. Oh, God, you're here to get me out? Well, no, I'm, I'm here to defend you. Defend me? I didn't do nothing. Good. Let's prove that. I don't got nothing to prove. Ask Annie. His girlfriend should tell you. Annie Meacham? She's a witness for the state. What's that mean? That means that she's saying you did it. She couldn't. She didn't even see nothing. Just get me out, please. Well, that is what I'm going to try to do. Try? Well, you're a lawyer, ain't you? I thought you had to be proved you did something before you get put in jail. Well, that gets determined at the trial. What trial? Look, let's start all over here. Now, you have been charged with murder. And the state wants to try you as an adult. And they have witnesses, and they have motive, and weapon, and fingerprints, and there ain't a citizen in this county, including my wife, who doesn't think you did it. And to top it all off, your lawyer here had never tried the murder once. So why don't we just get down to it? Because otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. And you're going to end up in a gas chamber. I didn't do nothing. Very glad to hear that. Now, I'm, I'm going to go and meet with the prosecutor and get a discovery. It means I'm going to just find out what evidence he's got on you. Then you and me will get down to work, okay? Wait. Will you, will you get me some candy-covered chocolates? My mama used to give them to me when I was sick. You, you want me to contact your parents? Maybe call your mama? The last I heard, her and my daddy were in a trailer park in North Dakota. Well, I, I, I maybe could find him. You can't. I tried. She's not there. Wait, um... 
Please don't forget my candies. No, I'm, I'm not going to forget your candy. I hear you've been causing a commotion. Mister, I gotta get out of here. I can't breathe. I told him an hour, just one hour. And I've come right back. Damn warden. Just... I'm afraid it doesn't work that way, ma'am. Whose side are you on? Yours. I'm your lawyer. I'm doing everything I can to get you out of here. Do you believe I didn't do it? Yeah. I do believe that. Now, how about you? You believe I'm trying to help you? All right, let's get down to work. Thanks, mister. Buddy. Now, look, Amanda. I know you haven't had much luck finding people that you trust. Don't feel sorry for me. It's just that I know you've been dumped on a lot. I'm going to have security throw you out, Billy. Hi. Well, hey there. You think he could use me long enough so I could earn something to eat and get a room for that? You got to be kidding. I'm just really hungry. I'll do anything. No, you won't do that. You know, what you better do is just get your little butt back home, OK? No, you don't want to stick around here. Rough out there, ain't it? It sure is. Yeah. Come in on the bus? I hitched. Nah. What you run? I was looking for my husband at the Army base. Your husband? You guys has a kid or something? I'm old enough to know a little. You know a friend when you see one? I think I do. Billy Camp, your friend. You know, why don't you back off, Dracula? Huh? Kid, what's your name? Amanda Sue Bradley. Mandy. This isn't a place to hang around. Now, hold on there, would you? Ain't you ever been hungry before? Not that hungry. Well, I am, I'm... See? Now, you get this little lady something to eat. Burger okay, hon? Mm-hmm. Look, I'll get you a hamburger, okay? But it's on the house. It's out of this joker's pocket. Now, you just sit down, right here, and, uh... Maybe I can help you out. Okay? Okay. Oh, people, they got no faith. You and I, we got to stick together. Yeah, we surely do. What do you want to drink with that burger, huh? A soda, please. Okay. Um, I have to make a phone call. Right over yonder. Information to North Dakota, please. So there's nothing for Sledge, Harvey, or Wanda? Okay. No luck? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now don't you even worry about a place. I got one for you. Well, I don't got any money. Well, I could help you out with that, too. Put you on to a job. <laughs> really? You know a friend when you see one? Okay. I said I am gonna help you, and by God, that's what I'm gonna do. 
Let's but go. what about a waitress? What's she gonna do for you? You need a job, don't you? Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Hungry thing, ain't you? Well, eat up. Gotta eat right to stay pretty. You are a pretty looking woman. Danced disco before, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Now look, darling. There's no shame in this lot of very high class models start out right here. I kid you not. Why? That's the way it's done. You get out there and you. Model it, you know, just kind of dance around a bit. You got it. Not in this. You said you danced disco before. No, but not in that. Well, that's a shame. This would be the easiest 60 bucks you ever made. $60? That's right, $60. You get dressed. I'll be right back. Spot. Got a new one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ken. How old is she? Ah, uh, she's older. Yeah, older than the last one. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Just trust me. Trust me. All right, what kind of music you want? Uh, something nasty. Nasty. Yes. Where's she from? Don't matter. What's her name? Mandy. All right, all you GIs, cowboys, hicks, and sticks, we got a special treat for you tonight. Get ready for the hottest little thing to ever come out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're all set. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to work real good. I like that. Okay, you're playing our song. Go. Coming or not. This farm boys get to you. Now you're not a kid anymore, so stop acting like that. Got something for you. What is this? It's good. Just like candy. I'll make you dance like ginger riders. was a hundred bucks per girl, but she's got to perform for it. And how old is that kid anyway? I seen no 19. Well, see, you say that because you never seen no 19. You're looking so pure. And just, just be cool. Just keep getting it together. Just give us 20 minutes. Okay? Well, that's all you've got, boy. And then you're both out of here on your finger. Oh, there's my girl. What the hell did you give me? I feel funny. Told you I'd take care of you. Now, let me see you dance, baby.
<laughs> I'm dizzy. Yeah, you crashed. Bring her beer. Why don't you give her some chocolate milk? <laughs> you did real good tonight. You did so good, I said I'm gonna let you stay in my place and get back on your feet. Oh, good, a place. Yeah. Um, well, you said we'd get you to bed, huh? Hop in. I'll get in the front. No, then. you'll get in the back. I'll make it real comfortable for you. Okay? I've got a husband. I help you out. I get you a job, place to stay. Can't you tell I care about you? Yeah, I do. Then get in the back of the car, darling. I'm sorry, I can't do that. How far do you think you're gonna get? Hi, excuse me. Uh, I thought you were someone else. Um, do you know where I could get a room for tonight? No, I don't know. Excuse me, watch your feet. Thanks. Watch it, darling. There's a cop on you. Well, they can help me. Where well, you looking, honey? They're allowed to help you right over the locker. You. you got anybody you feel close to? Anybody you love? Jane. Oh, Jane from the bowling alley. Yeah, you know how sometimes you meet somebody and, like, right away you feel like old friends? Yeah. And that was me and Jane. She's like a sister, you know? I really loved her. I remember this one time when me and Billy, we got this apartment, and she... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You and Billy got an apartment? Well, I didn't want to live in his car, and he got this job. Job, I think he was ripping off warehouses or you, something. You never told me you moved in with him. So, what's wrong with that? Honey, everything's wrong with it. I mean, we, we got to show that you tried to get away from him. Well, I was trying to. Once I got myself together, I was going to beat it out of there. All right. Stay with me here. This is crucial. Unless we can show you tried to break away from him. Well, what about that first night in Horn? I mean, you could have left him then. Why didn't you? You had the $60? No, I didn't have it. They didn't pay the girls but like once a week, and so I stayed on till Friday. And when I did get my money, Billy always took half. And that was at the Black Stocking? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got the tape. 
looking for a perfect world. <laughs> you can have anything your heart desires. <laughs> Everybody looking. I love this song. But you know what? I should have saved money because uh, I got my own place. You what? You got to be kidding. Well, if it wasn't me that found that room on Charles Street, it must have been my twin. Are you lying? Gene, you're too much. I swear I'm out of there. Billy let you go? You don't know yet. Oh, great. Uh, well, I can handle him. Well, you haven't done such a good job at so far. Look at you. How much rent are you sinking into that place? Too much. Are you looking for someone to stay with or something? No, that spot's just been taken. <laughs> what do you mean? Just that, me and Frank. You're getting married? We're getting married. Oh, my God, Jean, when? Next month. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk right into that bowling alley. And I'm going to say, Carl, you can take this job and shove it. <laughs> I'm going to have a baby the very first year. Oh, wow. But now we got to worry about you. Oh, don't worry about me, Jean. Now we got to get you away from that strip joint. Away from Billy. Well, I'm only hanging on here until I'm old enough to get me a regular job and find me a man and start a family of my own. Hell, don't go talking about no kids. You are still a kid yourself. Well, you're forgetting something, honey. I was married before. You ain't. Hey. Come on, over here. Okay, come first. I say something like me. I'll make everything out of these 48 outfits. Crowded enough for you, man? Can't get crowded enough for me. Billy's looking for you. I don't doubt that. He looks angry. Don't doubt that either, man. Thanks, honey. Name's Mike. I ain't seen you around here before. I get around a bit. Give me beer. So where you been all night, my love? You do not own me. The hell I don't. I don't owe you nothing else, all right? I care about you. Just, just turn me loose. <laughs> now, you don't hit a woman. <laughs> Coming? You get out of here. I've been telling man to ditch that piece of garbage for, for months. You all right? Yeah, it don't hurt. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> no problem. What'd you say your name was? Mike. I'm Mandy Sue. Man Sue Trouble, my mom used to say. <laughs> so, uh, can buy you a beer? No, I can't stand that stuff. Whiskey neither. It's harsh. How old are you? 18. Nearly. 17 and a half. <laughs> I hope that's not your supper. How'd you come to be so interested? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah? I like that. Yeah. Hey, listen, why don't we get out of here? We'll get some real food. Oh, gotta work. Well, look, maybe afterwards we can go. Uh, I can pick you up. We can get some grub. Or we go to my place, and I'll fix you something. I'd like that. seen the tire. None of my first. You know how old she really is? 14. What the hell is she doing in here? She likes to eat?
go inside. I'll get something to eat. Sweet home. A little messy. Sorry. Wow. Anyway, um, how come you didn't tell me you were 14 years old? Because I ain't no baby. Yeah, but I don't like seeing you in that place. Oh, yeah? Well, if it's so sleazeball, what were you doing in there? Uh, I don't know. I'm not proud of it. I just got divorced and, uh, I'm a little lonely. I miss my kids. You got kids? How many? Two. So, I got this whole big empty house here, and you can stay as long as you like for free. And it's on the up and up. I mean, I'm keeping my hands to myself. I don't mess with kids, because you're a kid. I just think it would be really good for you to have a place that you could stay for free for a while, so you don't have to do what you do. Yeah, why? Because it's not right. Well, you can sure use a housekeeper. <laughs> You can use the kids' room. Make yourself comfortable. They don't visit until Sunday. I'm uh, next door if you need me. God, I love this. You can hold me if you like. No. Why not? I already told you. Good night. <laughs> I'm being funny. Well, I guess I did. All the world is his game, and Rumbleston is his name. <laughs> no, not Rumbleston. Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> hey, baby, bye. Betty, bye. Let's go, you guys. Daddy says hustle. No. Move, move, move. God, I want them to be happy. I want them never to feel sad. Never. Oh. You want me to get that for you? Yeah. Hello? Randy, I want to see you. Billy? Don't put me off again. I want to see you. Just go to hell. Don't see that, Mandy. Who is that? Canton? I don't want you bothering this girl, Ken. You understand me? You do again. I'm gonna get you. Okay. Okay. Is it? Mandy. Hey, come on. No, I just want you to hold me. He really scares me. Gene, he made me quit my job, and now he wants me to live with him. Are you pulling my leg? All right, I'm gonna fool you. 
But, honey, you just met this guy a month ago. He is a soldier, for God's sake. I know, but he's not like that. I already got to know his kids. He's got kids? How old is he? Old enough. Oh, beautiful. Look, I'll bring him to Denver so you can check him out. I don't like leaving you here. Well, it was your decision. Well, what was I supposed to do? Frank got that job offer, so we figured we might as well get married there. But I was going to be your maid of honor. You still can, Mandy. Come with us. Where am I going to live? You can stay with us until you find a place. Frank said it was OK. I'm only 14. What kind of job can I get? We'll figure something out. Oh, Jean. Do it, Mandy. I don't want to leave Mike. I love him, and he loves me. You don't even know him. Well, we'll come and visit you, and then you'll see. What about Billy? I don't see him no more. Well, that's good. I don't want you to go. I know. Troops, out. Uh -huh. Hustle, hustle, move, 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 move. Hi. Hi. Hi <laughs> I got the frisbee y'all wanted. Yeah, all right. Get, yeah. Go over there. Hi. Hey, babe. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh. They try to pick me up at the black stock at one night. Well, we can just forget about them. Sergeant Midwick, you see Lieutenant Billings? Mike, I talked to this lady at the supermarket today, and she was telling me what you told me, that I could get my high school certificate Mandy. and... Mandy, we gotta talk. Mm. Sit down. <laughs> We're up a creek. And what do you mean? Well, there's some people that think that you and I shouldn't be living together. So? So, it's my commanding officer. He found out that you're a minor. So? We've been dreaming. This isn't going to work. You're going to have to go. What do you mean? They're going to court-martial me. They're going to put me on a trial. What, because we're living together? Yes. So what? You've got to go. Baby, there isn't a damn thing that I can do about it. Mike, you can't say that. Mandy, please try to understand. The Army is my life. I got eight years in this. I got kids to support. I got nothing else going for me. But you know I can't go. You know how much I love you. Don't you love me? It's not about that. We just, we've been fooling ourselves. But I gave you my love. I gave it to you. They're going to put me.
me in jail and take away my kids. No, they won't do that. Yes, they are. You weren't there. So we'll take the kids and we'll make them understand. It's too late. Why? Look, maybe if you just, um, you could try and find your mom. Mom? She threw me away! She threw me away! Just help me! <laughs> Love me! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. The answer is no. She's a kid, Mark. She's 15, going on five. How can you try her as an adult? Come on, buddy. This isn't a case of juvenile shoplifting. This is a brutal murder. What do you want us to do? Slap her on the hand and make her stand in the corner for 10 minutes? She didn't do it, Mark. Tell that to Annie Meacham. Look, there's an adult male right there. It was his knife. And Amanda's fingerprints were all over the knife. As well as buddy, I did. Buddy. Now, look. There's something you got to know. piece of evidence we got when she was first brought in. It's inadmissible because there was no attorney present. You've been lying to me! No. Yes, what do you mean? That is a confession! You signed it! That's your signature! Well, I didn't want to sign, but the man wouldn't let me have nothing to eat or drink. He wouldn't even let me go to the bathroom. Amanda. Why didn't you tell me about it? I don't know. I bought it. I bought the whole story. I believed you. Now, what about the rest of it? Is that a lie, too? No, I'm telling you the whole story, the truth. Why won't anybody listen to me? No, you listen to me. I cannot help you unless you are straight with me. I think it's in Denver under Jean Glessner. Oh, that's right. She got married. Um, his first name is Frank. I know. Thank you. Well, what goes around comes around. What happened? Soldier friend throw you out? How'd you know that? Wait, how'd you know that? You're the, you're the one that told them? Yeah, all right. I did it for you. You son of a bitch! Why didn't you... Mandy! Wait! Wait! Get away! I think I wanted one thing for you. Just trying to keep from getting hurt. I could tell you like them. You saw him what? Oh, I've seen that dude on the strip a hundred times, and every time, he's just buying what you give him for free. Think so? You go ask any one of them girls out on the streets here, because they all been home in midweek. I don't believe you. So where you staying, Mandy? Huh? Where you staying? Get away! No! <laughs> So much. You know I'm the only one who does. Why do you want to be so ugly? I love my Well, that ain't the way you felt, is it? She got rid of you quick enough, didn't he? Yeah, he did. God, I don't want to die. Just let me die. Uh, no, you don't. You don't want to die. You just, you just gotta make yourself feel better. Take this. No! Take <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I never done you. You know I never done you over. You know that. Yeah. Come on with me, man. I'll take 
to nobody anymore, right? That's what I'm trying to teach you. Nobody gives a damn, right? I do. You feel better? Yeah, I guess. Run from me again, I'll kill you. Okay. Mandy, God, I've been worried about you. Yeah, well, she ain't all that hard to find. Mandy, are you okay? What have you been doing? Yeah, 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 she's okay. Just try your routine on someone else. Mandy. Do you know her? It's a long story, darling. She's just a kid I tried to help out once. God, I hate him. Why'd he throw me away like that? You can do that. Just forget him. Love me now, baby. I needed him so much. He just did that to me. Why? What are you doing? Speedball. This will get you over any time. Oh, does it hurt? No. Okay. Now just close your eyes. Count to five. I say, I say we go get him. Uh, <laughs> I mean, cause, you know, what kind of guy would just dump you like that? I mean, you tell me, just what kind of guy? Yeah, I'm a friend of mine. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just make him pay. We'll just make him pay. <laughs>
Hello, baby. Mandy? Oh, what the hell is this? What's she doing here? Look, if you two want to talk, I'll leave. <coughs> Mandy, what are you trying to do? <coughs> what do you want? Your blood, soldier. Hey, I want the two of you out of here. Get right out! What are you going to do to us? Mandy, the two of us need to go somewhere alone, and we can work this out. Why, honey? Huh? Because I think we can come to an understanding. Yeah. Hell no, you ain't ever going to hurt my girl again. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh! That's right. The kids are asleep. The kids are asleep. Oh, shh. My babies. Mandy! Shut up! Get your ass! It's gonna be okay. Yeah, right. It's gonna be great. It's all right. Sure. Don't hurt her! Don't worry, little babies. Amanda! Let's go! Time to pass her up, darling. Let's go for a ride, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Up, two, three, four, let's go. Come on, Mio. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. engagement ring. God, what are you guys on? Come here, Amanda. Come here. Give it to me. See, baby, just like the plan, Damon. Just like the plan. Shut up! Get back! Turn around! Turn around! Mandy, it's gonna be okay. Mandy, don't hurt her! No! It's Mark. Don't you hurt her! Why are you doing this? You got a problem, son. Don't you? Mandy! Shut up! You son of a bitch. I'll slit you open like swine you are. I never did anything to you. I don't even know you. Say goodbye to him now. My God, you love him. How can you do this? It's too late! Mandy! Mandy! Shut up! Please! What did I tell you about talking out of turn, huh? Stop! Come back, little bitch. Come back! Mandy! Hey. Come over here right now and help me! Mandy? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. She gives it to you, don't she, Mandy? Now listen, Mandy. This is dumb. She gives it to you. Mandy! You like it! Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. She gives it Mandy. to you!
I was on so many drugs, and there's so much stuff going on. What I can't figure out is that I loved Mike. I really loved him. Morning, beautiful. Oh, look, I throw up. Surely you must know someone. Maybe Mickey will help us. I'll drive. Billy, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Oh, just be cool now, sweetheart. Just you and me? Yep. Now, which one is it? Right there, that last one over there. Right here. That's Mickey. Be good now. How do? Hi. Mandy? It's me. <laughs> I didn't know you. Hey there. Hey, I'm Billy. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm Mickey. Is that you? Hey, Miss Blaylock. Hey, y'all come on inside. I can't get over how different you look, Mandy. Well, I made a woman out of her. In fact, this here's our wedding trip heading out to California, ain't we, sweetheart? Yeah. What happened to your hands? It was an accident. Accidents will happen. <laughs> you have any jeans and a t-shirt I could borrow? Oh, sure, sure, right here. I'm gonna grab one of these beers. Yeah, go ahead. Here you go. I'm real proud you stopped by, Mandy. Can you help me? What'd you say? How you doing there, precious? Fine. What'd you say before? Nothing. You can kind of chill me with my bride there, ain't you? Don't be silly. I know Mandy all my life. Well, anyhow, we gotta make us a beer run. You're out of beer, son. Oh, yeah, well, sure. You mind if I wash up in there? No, no, make yourself at home. We'll see you in a little while, Mandy. You and me. Hello, Mary. It's Birdie. Guess what? Amanda and some guy just drove up. She's in Mickey's trailer. That's 
การนั่นจัดThat gum, I left my wallet back with Amanda. You think you could uh, pick this up till we get back? Yeah, I guess. Thanks, you're a good guy. I tell anyone that too. Second time I've seen that today. Get in. Sure, I'm glad it's over. Little liar. She caught me the whole way. Yeah. I loved her so much. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached your verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise now? What is your verdict? Your Honor, we find the defendant guilty as charged. Order! Order in this court. I'm gonna die, right? No. Well, the jury, they were they were all against me. It's not over yet, Amanda. The jury can still recommend leniency. Buddy, you gotta stop it. I don't wanna die. I'm gonna do everything in my power. I don't wanna die. Capital offense. She slit his throat. See, I, I'm in over my head, Norm. This 15 year old girl got her life in my hands, and I. I... It's just too big for me. This is something for Solomon, you know? This is stuff for the big boys. That's just the way it came down, buddy. You can do this, can't you? You can send her to her death and go on home, get in bed and go sleep. How old's Kathy now, huh? Was she 12? Imagine her going to the gas chamber. Lots of kids with lives like Amanda go on to become doctors. 
she made a choice. I don't want to see anybody die. Oh, my God, how did we come to this? How'd you find me? Came on the news in Denver. All the way in Denver? You know, I tried to find your mother. I called every damn trailer park in the country. Yeah, when Mom says she's gone, she don't fool around. She has Frank. He's okay. He's running his brother's auto repair shop. Oh, that's nice. Do you have your baby yet? I'm pregnant now. Oh, that's great. When? August. Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? Well, we don't want to know. We want it to be a surprise. Oh, not me. I don't want to know right away. Can't stand it. What happened? I don't know. If you have a baby girl, will you name her Mandy? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like that. You know, I would I would have been a really good mother. Really good one, you know. All rise. Please be seated. We shall now enter the penalty phase of this trial. Counselor, we are prepared for your summation. Ladies and gentlemen, I commend you for the wisdom and courage that your verdict has shown. You have brilliantly separated fact from a smokescreen of emotion and innuendo about innocence and you. Your verdict honors the only true innocent in this case, its victim, Michael Madwicky. Now, it would be easy for us to allow Amanda Sue Bradley the benefit 
of our sympathies. Goodness knows we all wish that her life had been easier. But the ugly truth is, she was old enough to wrench the life away from somebody else. She killed a man, a father of two young children. And now she must suffer the consequences of her actions and be put to death. Now, if Amanda's crime was an isolated if she were the only teenager guilty of a capital offense, we might say, all right, let's look at the so-called mitigating circumstances. But the sad truth is, Amanda is just a part of the growing tragedy of where this country is headed. I don't have to tell you. You read the paper. Every day, stories of Gangs of 15-year-olds roaming the streets in almost every city of our country, killing and raping 12-year-olds running wild, packing guns. This is a new breed. And Amanda is just one of them. We have to send a clear message to the Amandas of this world that they can no longer work their evil and get away with it. She must die for her crime. We must protect the innocent, God-fearing, good citizens of this country from this, from this. Norton. Before we get to the question of what to do about Amanda Sue Bradley, let's ask ourselves another question. How did we, all of us here today, get to this moment? A moment when the state of Oklahoma is asking you to send a 15-year-old girl to the gas chamber. Now, what we do know is how Amanda Sue got to this moment. By the time she was 14, she had been raped repeatedly by her stepfather, abandoned by her mother, married and abandoned again by her 18-year-old husband, and then tossed on the doorstep of a strip joint where men like Billy Canton filled her with drugs and used her for their pleasure. What, what Amanda wanted most in life was love and a family. And Army Sergeant Michael Medwick, he put his arm around her and he promised her all those things. But it wasn't long after he took her into his house that he ended up in her bed. And then, like all the others, he abandoned her. Amanda then returned to the only world she knew where Billy Canton was ready for. Look, I, I don't want to dismiss what happened on that winter night in the oil fields of Horn, Oklahoma. That was tragic. But the tragedy is yours and mine as well. You see, Amanda is a child of our times. And the prosecutor was right when he said there are many children like her roaming our streets. But if she is guilty of this crime, then society is guilty as well. We're supposed to provide a safety net to protect our children from this kind of pattern of abuse and abandonment. But we failed in that responsibility. And do you now want to hide that failure by sending this 15-year-old girl to the gas chamber? Do you want to condemn her to die before you have ever given her a chance to live? Look, you, you, you have already convicted her of this crime. Send her away. Don't kill her.
Have you made your decision? Yes. Will the defendant kindly rise and approach the bench? Now then, please read the court your decision. We unanimously find that the defendant be sentenced to death. Execution will be carried out by lethal gas 30 days from today. When are they coming? So they're taking me to death row? I'm gonna die now? <laughs> I'm gonna die now.
demand to Sue Bradley? You're under arrest for murder and kidnapping. Sue Bradley. Age. Merry Christmas, Mama. You are gonna have to make your own breakfast this morning because your stepdaddy woke up drinking beer again. Oh, swear. Watch out for yourself today. I gotta go. And thanks for my sweets. Yes, you're What are you doing with the Christmas stocking for anyway? You're 14! Not until next month, I'm not. Uh, you're looking more like a woman every day. I bet them boys are noticing you. No, they're not. Just go now. I got a dress. Go on. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Stop it. I'm your daddy. <laughs> huh? I love you just as much as any daddy would. Huh? I see those boys noticing you, treating you like a woman. Don't, don't, not again, me. <laughs> Each Christmas we come together to celebrate the miracle of Jesus' birth. In doing so today, let us also consider the miracle of our own births, each and every one of us a work of art, created in God's image. And that is a miracle we must never take for granted. 
us today, this most joyful time of the year. In honor in the Heavenly Father, let us also honor ourselves and our loved ones, especially those who gave us birth. God in his wisdom said, honor thy father and thy mother. They can't do anything to you that you don't want them to do. I didn't want him to. You stop that lying. Deborah, I haven't been married even a year. Men don't stray that soon unless they got a good reason. How long has this been going on? A few months. I'm only telling you because I don't want him to do it to me no more. Don't. If you didn't like it, then why didn't you come to me sooner? Because I knew you wanted him to stay here. Don't do me any favors. I know how to hold a man. Will you please just make him go? Oh, yeah, he's going all right. And I'm going with him. Because you better believe, Harvey and me, we got big plans. And you better put the brakes on right quick, girl, or you're out of the picture. I've done my job with you, you know? Now it's my turn. I'm in, I'm in trouble. What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. It can't be that bad. I'll help. How? Hell, I want to marry you, Mandy. You do? Well, yeah. My mama wants me to join the Army. But I'll be 18 next month. I can marry, and she can't say nothing. Let's get married. We can have each other all the time. <laughs> Does that mean you love me? Of course I love you. Really? I want you to be my wife. Don't you want to? Can we get our own place? Of course, silly. They got me full time at the garage now. You won't have to go to high school. I won't? Married people don't